This is Charlene. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the Charlene fam. Today, I just really want to tell a story because it happened today. So, um, this is a story that this girl is bullying my boyfriend. So, I'll get into it. So, I was taking a real long time getting ready this morning. And my friend keep texting me, and then said, dude, I need to go, I need to go pee, I need to get dressed, I need to put on makeup. So, that's what I did, and I left, I got my bus pass because I lost it, so I got a new one. So, I walked down a block to catch another bus to get to Poco, like that. So, that's what I did, and, um, we, I met... Devin and Bradley at Mostly Music. It's a video game, movies, and CD store. So you can trade in games and movies and stuff. So we went there for a little bit. And then after that, Nathan was game bored. So we were waiting for the bus to at the bus stop. So, we were waiting, we were talking, how many text messages he sent me and Brad, the comparison. And then this girl, I don't remember him, remember her, I don't remember her, but Brad remember her from bowling, yeah. Oh, I don't remember her. So, the bowling days, but I really don't remember her. So, she yelled at Brad and said, don't talk to someone behind your they're back, Brad, and then and you're being rude, you're being disrespectful, uh, yeah. Okay, enough is enough. I'm going to stand up for Bradley and say, uh, call her a bitch across the street. And my voice was so loud, I call her a bitch. And all the guys were, whoa, ho, ho. And Brad went, huh? So, yeah. I call her a bitch because um she was bullying my boyfriend and he can't defend himself. He has a trachea on his neck and he was born with that and he can't speak up and say shut up. So that's what I have to do. And honestly when I finally did it, I was shaken up and I felt good on my own bus, and everybody and Brad thanked me, and yeah. So, I felt really good that I st stood up and said something, because not a lot of people in his condition that, or condition like Bradley, have a voice and said, Enough is enough. Like people like her or him or a person like that. So, and I felt good that I did it. I know it's not a nice thing to call anybody names, but a person is bullying someone. What you do? A, speak up and say, stand up for that person. B, what are you going to do? So, I'm glad I did, and we need somebody to stop bullying, because it happens like every day, even every, every single day, bullying happens. Like, it happens at school, it happens at Special Olympics, it happens at clubs, it happens all the time and it happens every day like evil people can control that and manipulate that and think it's okay even it's not so i'm glad i stood up for bradley um it, it did rub off on me and i finally did it um it feels kind of good and i feel really confident that I did it. So, that's 
for stories. So, I'll see you next.